Nice to be back in Toronto. I was uh, actually saying to somebody the, the last night in France, when was the last time I was in Toronto? I said, the last time I was in Toronto, I was actually in a bar with Jimmy Dewan. And for those of you that know Jimmy Dewan, you know that that can be a life-changing experience. <laughs> and, uh, and it was. And uh, Jimmy and I ended up drinking Beam Me Up Scotties. I don't know how many I actually drank, because after three, your brain goes numb. And Jimmy was one of the nicest, smartest, and funniest uh, guys I, I've ever worked, had the pleasure of meeting from any of the, any of the you know, fandoms and sci-fi universes. So, so uh, it's nice to be back in Toronto. So we're going to start with questions, I guess, and then I'll ramble on incoherently and somebody says it's time for you to go back to your padded cell. <laughs> and I will, quietly. So let's start with a question. If you, if, you, if you don't ask me questions, I'm going to start asking you questions. Okay, like, what is the terminal velocity of an African swallow? <laughs> Things like that. Okay, so here we go, here we go. First question. First question. First question. Can you make your voice go all, go all like digital and like, like can you make can you make the you know the radio sounds you did in the movie and make your voice all digital and make you know do all the crazy sounds? It you depends. <laughs> like, it depends what you want me to do. <laughs> like Bumblebee from the movie, like do do the you know the radio the radio stuff and the digital stuff. What do you think I am? Wasn't what that, is your? Wasn't that your? Do you think I actually have a radio inserted into it's some? Like in your, it's like in your voice box or something. You put like a radio down there. They, you know, Michael Bay inserted it himself. He put the, it the, tr the actual, what actually happens is I end up sometimes on the set making those noises, but not necessarily out of my mouth, because <laughs> Michael be going do that do that noise that you do do the the changing that <laughs> making sort of noises on the set so we can buy time between the dialogue. So I, I do that kind of thing, but I'm really not very good at it, and uh, it's very embarrassing. Uh, but it's we do have a lot of fun making those noises sometimes. I'm going, what? What do you want? That noise? Do that thing? That noise you do? Or do that squeaky thing that you do? And um, yes, I do do that. But no, that's all very cleverly added by the sound guys that really uh, should have got an Oscar last year, I think, for or some kind of award for both the sound and the CGI. Those guys are fantastic. Scott Farrar and those guys from ILM, you know, they really do good, a good job, and the sound guys are great. All that noise, the spinning and whirring, all the little noises that they come up with, it's really fantastic. But I d sadly, I don't do it as well as they do. So, so, but anyway, no, I can't do that, you know. Okay. Okay. Sorry, you're disappointed now. He's disappointed. I've got another question. I don't mind. You've got another question. You wore that hat. And if you're brave enough to wear that hat, I'm brave enough to answer your questions. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. You just saved me from being escorted out of the room. Out of the room. That's okay. Okay. What's your name? What's your name? I get to say, oh, Goober. Goober. There you go. Uh, do you know what? I knew that somehow. I don't know. I think it was like ESP or something. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> 